Bismillah, alhamdulillah. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. And if you'd like to visit our website, it's called islammailbox.com. And you can send us some messages there. And we'll try our best to put your question up here on the mailbox. Let's look now to the one that just came in. What's the best way to get closer to Allah? First of all, know who Allah is. He's not in the creation, not like the creation. And your relationship with Him is direct that you pray to Him, worship Him, as He has ordered you to do. Because when you're trying to obey Him and submit to His commandments, in effect you're doing what's called aslama, and that's the root for the word Islam itself. There's a lot more on our website about this, but praying and coming close to Him through the Salah, and getting up in the night and doing prayers is good, fasting and giving charity for His sake, all of these are good things. Another question it asks, why do Muslims insist on Muhammad as the last prophet, peace be upon him? What about Joseph Smith of the Mormons? And what about the prophecies of Rasputin? <laughs> I think you meant the prophecies of Nostradamus. But in any case, if there is anybody claiming to be a prophet after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Islam would reject that. Because it says clearly in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad is in fact the Khatim and Anbiya, the, of all the prophets that Allah has ever sent, then Muhammad is the seal of prophethood. So whether it's somebody in the United States claiming that he is the last of Allah's messengers, or if he claims that he is coming up with some golden tablets out of the ocean, or if he's making any other claims, then Islam is going to deny that and say it's not true. One of the ways you can verify it is to find out if any of these people have any miracles, do they have miracles associated with them that can be tested and proven? At the same time, you should uh, investigate to see some of the real life story behind the person. Behind Muhammad Wasallam is the best of characters. I want to call your attention to a website. You can check it out for yourself and verify what I just told you. It's called Muhammad A to Z. Muhammad A to Z dot com. Let's take this next one that just came in. It said, can the jinn really talk to people? Can they enter into people? And how do you know if somebody has a genie in them? Huh, that's a good question. Uh, yes, they can talk to people. The shaitan are from the jinn, and they certainly do talk to us. They whisper in our ears all the time. It's mentioned in the last surah of the Quran. They can enter people. There's a cure for that. And how do you know? Well, go to our website and get the details about this at Islambox. Dot com. Islambox.com. Until next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa